Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A, your opportunity to ask Bible questions. So if you have a Bible question, I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send it to me. I'll try my best to give you a Bible answer. We do have a question today. Today's question is, what is a big gift to God? Well, for that, let's go to Mark. Mark chapter 12, and let's begin reading in verse 41. It says, And Jesus sat opposite the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury, and many who were rich cast in much. Now, there were 13 containers in the temple complex where people would drop their offerings, and so Jesus and his apostles are there watching people give. 42. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make a farthing. The word poor, poor widow means pauper. So this widow was in financial ruin, but she gave the little that she had. 43. And he called unto him his disciples and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast more in than all they that have cast into the treasury. Jesus wasn't talking dollar-wise, because her gift was tiny in amount. Those two little coins she gave mounted to maybe one sixty-fourth of a normal person's daily wage, so a very small amount when measured by man's standard. But when measured in relation to sacrifice, it was huge. God does not just measure our gifts to him by how much we give, but also by what we give up to give it. What a person gives up in order to give the money to God is something that the Lord does not overlook. So if you buy a burger off the dollar menu instead of a large meal, and you give the difference to God, he notices that. David said, I will not give the Lord anything that cost me nothing. And then verse 44, Jesus continues, For they all cast in of their abundance, but she of her want cast in all that she had, even all of her living. Clearly, it pleases the Lord, and he takes note when his people give beyond the point of comfort like this poor widow did. It takes faith to do that. It takes faith and a great heart for God. It takes a heart for God to give at all. Faithful givers are faithful Christians. Faithful Christians are faithful givers. How do I know that? Because Jesus said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be be also. So what is a big gift to God? Not so much the dollar amount. It's not so much what you gave, but what you have left and what you could have purchased but gave up to give that to God. That's what God takes notice of. That's a big gift to God. I hope that answers the question, what is a big gift to God? If you have a question for me, please send it to scripture verse by verse at gmail.com.